Over the years, a player receiving a concussion has become a very common thing in the National Football League. The definition of a concussion, according to WebMD, is a type of traumatic brain injury that is caused by a blow to the head or body or another injury that jars or shakes the brain inside the skull. Just in 2015, PBS explained that players sustained 271 concussions in practice, preseason, and regular season games. Comparing that to the 2014 season, concussions increased by 31.6%. The NFL has been under scrutiny for years due to their concussion protocol. Even though the public sees the money NFL commissioner is putting into their brain research, it still causes you to wonder, is the NFL really protecting their players with this protocol? Quarterbacks are the most important to NFL teams. Without quarterbacks, teams' offenses cannot function, so why not protect them? Just recently in a post-game conference, quarterback Cam Newton of the Carolina Panthers stated how he did not feel safe in the NFL with all the late hits he has received. I don't know. It's, it's not fun. It, it's not fun. It's really taking the fun out of the game for me. Honestly. It really is. Because... Also in that post-game interview, Cam Newton vocalized that he wanted to meet with Roger Goodell. A week later, Cam Newton stated, according to Panthers.com, Newton and Goodell had a great conversation, which left Newton to say, I got my point across, he got his point across. In addition to that, Ben Roethlisberger, quarterback for the Pittsburgh Steelers, stated he was a different player now than when he first came into the league due to how many head injuries he has received. Ben Roethlisberger, as reported by CBS Sports, thinks that everyone that has played the game hasn't reported an injury. Ben Roethlisberger, over the years, has found himself reporting more concussion-like symptoms to a team doctor just as a safety precaution. Roethlisberger's mindset was you can replace a lot of body parts, but you cannot replace your brain. Roger Goodell and the NFL Players Association sent us joined together to announce a new policy to enforce concussion protocol. According to NFL Communications, the NFL and the NFLPA joined forces to enforce NFL game day concussion protocol and discipline clubs that violate that to protect the players so injuries, especially concussions, do not go unseen. As for long-term conditions, the long-term effects on the brain due to head injuries aren't too good in the player's favor. The long-term effect has been identified as a condition called chronic traumatic encephalopathy, or CTE. CTE is a degenerative disease which is found to people who have taken repeated head blows to the head. In this clip from Massachusetts School of Law at Andover, Lisa McHale, wife of a former NFL player, Tom McHale, lost her husband to CTE of his brain and I hear Dr. McKee you know say his area his, his brain was it was damaged significantly in the areas that control impulses and decision making and, and you know emotional liability all the things that are seriously hampered you know by that, that you need to get in order with substance abuse and I believe um, with all my heart that he's dead because of chronic because of CTE. Did you know your husband was suffering from the effects of head trauma? I had absolutely no idea. In fact, um, when I got the phone call about donating his brain, um, it was really the first time that um, I had ever thought about it at all. And in fact, I said, you know, I guess um, you can have his brain, but you're not going to find what you're looking for because I had never known Tom to have had a concussion, um, had never heard of chronic traumatic encephalopathy. And, um, you know, in fact, of all the, in, in watching him struggle for, all, for really a number of years, um, it never once crossed my mind, never occurred to him that it could have anything to do with playing sports. Concussions, no matter what the sport is, is a serious issue. NFL players that receive concussions not only affect themselves, but their teammates, spouses, and others. The impact of a head injury can be life-threatening when you constantly receive them.